hello all in this video we will see how to enable stm32 blue pill board detection in arduino IDE. so before starting uh, ensure that you have uh, the boards manager url in file preferences and uh, you have this link uh, in the board manager url we'll be posting this link below or you can also click on this as shown in our other videos in the channel and uh, get this link okay so once that is done go to boards manager here uh, and uh, search for stm32 so example we'll search again stm32 so here it's asking to install support for stm32 and stm8 so let us uh, see the latest version and let's try to install um, stm32 so before doing this we have our blue pill board detected uh, sorry connected and uh, you can see here uh, only esp8266 and avr boards are detected okay we do not have the stm32 support so uh, let us first try to install stm32 support from the boards manager here once all the um, packages are installed you can go to tools now and if you go to the board you can see stm32 mcu boards so here we are using stm32 blue pill right so, which is a generic stm32 f1 board we will see if there is a support for uh, uh, blue pill board specifically no right so generic stm32 f1 and <clears throat> you can select the port com7 and once you select com7 you can see on the right side uh, on the bottom corner which you are not seeing in the screen here uh, generic stm32 set on com7 the board got detected okay so you can click on board info and you can see vid vid got detected so the board is now detected in Arduino IDE and we are ready to work on the, uh, the blue pill board. So you can also see uh, here it automatically showed up the blue pill board. Okay, so this is one more indication and then we, uh, we also have STM32Q programmer installed in the background. Uh, so which is going to... <coughs> Uh, like uh, be used by the Arduino IDE to program uh, the blue pill board. So we will talk about programming, uh, uh, writing a small code and flashing it in the next videos.